Hello, welcome to another Fjordfish video. This time I'm here in Lundvågen, in Farsen, actually, which is in, uh, not my, well, county where I come from, which is Rogaland, but this is West Agder. West Agder. Western Agder. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but this is a spot that I've been fishing a few times. Uh, my parents have a cabin close-ish by. And this is a spot that I've been fishing, like maybe once or twice uh, per summer, and it's it's been a pretty decent spot. Like it's been yielding uh, pretty good results and many different species every time I've been coming out of fish. Now where I'm standing right now, it's a little bit less deep, a little bit more shallow, <laughs> I guess it's better to say, than the rest of this place. There's like an undersea uh, little hill coming up here, so it's about 40 to 60 feet somewhere. And uh, I've been having good luck on this spot more than um, the rest of the whole floating dock, so. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm fishing as I normally often do with uh, Berkeley Gulp and uh, some split shots and they yield a Bell and Rest 900 grams actually a new personal record for me this was uh, filmed during the uh, well more like autumn 2018 I'd say maybe September-ish or something can't quite, it's been lying around on my computer, I've been meaning to edit this I haven't really gotten around to it actually it's been on like an external hard disk that I couldn't locate and now I found it so here we are you can catch many species here, like I've caught mackerel, poor cod, different types of wrasse, like all of the types of wrasse basically, except for um, one that is in Norway and goes a bit deeper, that you won't be catching at these depths, I think it's like 30 meters and below. So I'm not really getting to that depth here. It's like maybe down to almost 30, you can get from just dropping off the uh, dark cell. And you see, I get another bite. And uh, apparently there's uh, some good fight in it. And lo and behold, it's another battle in the ass. Very good sport fish. I mean, you can see they're really bending the rod. Really, uh, really strong fish. Also supposed to be good for soup. I haven't tried them in soup. But I've tried um, eating them just like, you know, filleting them. They're full of bones though, so it requires a little bit of technique, and a lot of the fish kind of goes to waste because it's so bony. And there's not really any commercial fishing for it. They do fish them uh, to use them in salmon farms for using, well, for eating lice of salmon. Which is, uh, uh, millions are being fished every year of wrasse in Norway. If not hundreds of millions, really. And it's kind of despicable, I think, because it's like, it's not really that effective. They don't really eat lice. It's sort of being released into the salmon's biotope. And it was a little bit hard to, to get the hook out of this guy, but I, I got there eventually. But anyway, like, so if you've seen the salmon farms below the water near them, um, it's a huge export industry in Norway, but it ruins nature. Below them is a dead wasteland, and so they catch these fish and release them into dead wastelands. And if, if you stress these fish enough also, they won't be eating. They will just starve themselves to death. So, that might be the case for some that I've caught, but at least I'm not doing it on an industrial scale. Anyway, it's a fairly decent uh, balance. Rest. 700 grams, not too bad. I mean, you can get several kilos large, but uh, I'm happy with this size. It's a good fight on the rod that I brought with me. And also with salmon farms, um, I used to fish <coughs> when I was a kid, uh, camping on an island with my family near a salmon farm, and uh, I would always catch like two kilo uh, coalfish and parlex. There, they would all be around that size. And the thing is, they would probably feed off the pellets from the salmons, and the meat was just riddled with worms. Like, there were so many worms in those fish. 
So it's, it's salmon farms really they're, they're detrimental to to the health of fish in the vicinity and the whole you know biotope and the ecology around it's just <laughs> destroyed for profit. It's like fracking but with fish. I don't condone it, but there's not much I can do either. Anyway, so I caught this uh, cuckoo grass as well. 200 grams, it ain't too bad. It's a female one. Looks like it's in transformation of becoming a male as it's starting to be a little bit blue there. And some of the distinguishing features, like the spots on the back of it, the white and black ones, uh, have kind of faded. So, that's a female, most likely in the process of becoming a male. Which happens when uh, the male in the harem dies. Then another female will step in and become the male. There's some funny things out there in nature. And I caught a coalfish. Haven't been catching a lot of these lately. Uh, when I was a kid, I caught these all the time. Like these and uh, parlac and cod. That was basically what I was fishing for as a kid. Oh, well, that and mackerel. That's basically what... If you're not really into fishing, you just fish every now and then. That's basically what you catch. Because in Norway, we fish with pretty specific traditional lures. <laughs> if you if you want to call it that, uh, but it's basically just some cheap piece of metal with some color on, and uh, that's what most people just buy when they're going out for a quick trip of fishing. And that's uh, that's the fishing rod blues that I tried to play there on the tension of my line. Wasn't really too good, but yeah. So I didn't. Uh, it was a short trip. I started out pretty late in the day, and uh, you know. It was a nice day, as you can see. It's not. It's just flat water, no sign of anything. You know, really. it's it's beautiful to be there. But I didn't have too much uh, time to fish before nightfall was upon me. So I managed to hook up, uh, and there's a lot of these here. Uh, a poor cod. Now, usually when I catch them, this thing with the eyes don't happen. I mean, it's like 10, 15 meters deep where I caught them, maybe, and. Uh, Look at his eyes, like, it's, it's, it's as if I caught him really deep and his eyes have popped out. I don't get it. Like, this normally doesn't happen. I've caught many of these fish many places, but every time I fish for them here, or fish here and catch them, rather, there's something up with her eyes. Like, the, the, really, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have released it and put it out of his misery, I don't know, but... Something with this place <laughs> makes the eyes pop. I don't know what it is, but that's the end of this video. That's all I caught, so... Thanks for watching, and have a good one.